So today marked 125 years of the Society of Divine Word, the Divine Word missionaries in Papua New Guinea. Tracing back, the society landed in Papua New Guinea in the year 1896 in Tumleo between Itape and Wiwek. They celebrated Mass on Saturday at the St. Peter Chanel Parish in Erima. Marking 125 years in Papua New Guinea with the main celebrant Cardinal John Ribat. Uh, we were able to do so much because the people welcomed our uh, missionaries first. Uh, they were open to accept the word of God and we were able to do much many things uh, with the people. It's not only our work alone. We, there were many committed catechists, many committed sisters who worked along with the missionaries. Under the Society of the Divine Word, they have 80 of their clergymen represented here in Papua New Guinea and are encouraging the young to join the vocation. Today we are just 80 of us uh, from around 20 countries. However, we, have, we are glad many young Papua New Guineans are joining us and uh, I would invite many more to join because all those who join probably will not survive and you know, don't make the priesthood. So I'd like to invite young people to join us, to strengthen our work. Uh, not only to us, join the priesthood, join the missionary life, and they, we need young people, both men and women. The Divine Word University in Medang is the most recognizable institution under the missionaries, and they continue to support other sectors as well, apart from education. We continue to focus on education as our primary evangelization or activity. We have the Divine Word University, and also we focus on health, Wherever there is possible, we try to reach them out. Uh, youth, because you know that uh, our youth need guidance and uh, directions. So we also try to do as much as we can with them. Mm -hmm. Sukina, National MTV News.